Some big news came out today regarding the future of not only NASCAR in 2020, but also future plans for a possibly new racetrack in 2021. Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Jeff from MDK, guys, and welcome to the episode of Inside the Lines. We have two stories, and they're both atom bombs. The first story comes from Road America in um, Wisconsin, I believe. You remember Road America for hosting the NASCAR Xfinity Series as well as the IndyCar Series, the NTT IndyCar Series. Well, a tweet came out today from Adam Stern on the possibility that NASCAR Cup Series could be going to Road America in 2021. Now, sorry if you guys can hear all the noise in the background. Uh, thunder is going, oh, there it is. I just heard more thunder. Oh, there it is again. Okay, so apologies if you hear that. Not my fault. Uh, Mother Nature being the uh, bastard that she is uh, to Florida weather in the summer. So, uh, but anyways, let's get right into it with the comment that the general manager and president of Road America said regarding NASCAR Cup Series racing heading to Road America in 2021. And in a simple one statement on Adam Stern's Twitter, he said that I think it's safe to say we've been having some of those conversations. Now, this is huge. NASCAR fans have been long waiting or long expecting for more diversity in the NASCAR schedule, more road courses, more short track, just more different things. Go from a short track one week to a road course the next week to a super speedway to a mile and a half to a one mile to, you know, just more diversity every single week so it doesn't feel so bland. And that's a problem right now. Well, 2020, it's still got that just a little bit though. NASCAR did make some improvements with the schedule, but it still has a bit of that blandness to it. But with these new tracks like Nashville Super Speedway coming in 2021, Road America possibly coming in 2021. We could see more road courses in the future. Um, Montreal, I'm still waiting for Montreal. That needs to be a racetrack in 2021, but ultimately very glad to see NASCAR is in talks with these different racetracks. And Road America, it has provided some very fun racing. Uh, Road America is a track I've always looked forward to in the Xfinity Series, in fact, it's one of my top five most favorite races to watch or to uh, get ready to watch. So very excited that they're in talks and hopefully, very hopeful that they, uh, the Cup Series will be part of Road America in 2021 and for the future. Now, of course, talking about the big story that took place just moments ago, Adam Stern dropped another bomb and he says in this tweet that NASCAR has been considering moving this year's rescheduled All-Star Race from Charlotte to Bristol per sources, and an announcement could come as soon as tonight on FS1's race-up. Now, we are recording this two hours before a race-up is scheduled to air, so this could either be uh, breaking news or first to get a video out there, or we could be completely wrong, and NASCAR would still be racing their All-Star event at Charlotte, but if this race is at Bristol, more than likely it's going to be under the lights. I mean, it better be under the lights, but ultimately, I am so, I'd be so excited this happened. And with the possibility of fans being at attendance, the Bristol Motor Speedway, in my opinion, is the perfect all-star racetrack. The action that it can produce, you know, with the package, the 2018 package, the fans, the intro, the lights, the spectacle, it's truly more than a race. It's more, it's an experience. So I think it's awesome that NASCAR is going to be racing at Bristol for the all-star event. Now imagine with this package, similar to the 2018 and how good the 2018 night race was a few years ago. And raise it for a million bucks, you know, no points, just cash, short track racing under the lights. That, my friend, is just, it's a recipe for incredible racing, an incredible night for fans all around the world of NASCAR. So hopefully this does happen. And uh, yeah, overall, some NASCAR's in the right direction, I will say. I was a bit disappointed when they said uh, at first that there was going to be, they were going to be holding the race at Charlotte, mainly because... Look, I, I'm a, I feel like it's run its course, but at the same time, you know, they they can make some adjustments to rejuvenate the All Star Race at Charlotte. But if it's if the All Star Race is gonna move to another track, I am perfectly okay with moving to Bristol or Martinsville. But Bristol, very happy about that. Uh, now, finally, our last story revolves around NASCAR and the Confederate flag and the procedures that they would take in order to ensure that fans do not bring the flag either i believe in a flag form or in clothing form like if they bring the confederate flag or shirt of a confederate flag or pants or whatever the case may be uh, nascar has said in this tweet by adam stern again that they will more than likely require security and ask them to take it down or leave it um, in your car or whatever like that or they could even go with further action and um have you taken off the property for trespassing. So it's basically gonna be added onto things like, for example, like fireworks. You know, whenever you go through security and they look through your bag or, you know, they look through all your stuff, that's gonna be one of the things that they're looking for. So if you have that, more than, li more than likely, 
you're not going to be able to get in, all right? Actually, just just for future sakes, I know it's the rebel flag, and I know people want to be like rebels. They don't want to, you know, take orders from anyone. Just don't bring the flag. Just make it, make it easy. We're there to have a good time, not for anyone to be uncomfortable. I'm not going to add on to this. I already explained to us in my uh, video that uh, you can see up there um, on why I thought it was a great idea that NASCAR finally banned the Confederate flag. You can hear my full thoughts on that story, so... Overall happy. I know NASCAR, they're going to take very abrasive actions. They're going to ensure, let fans know, hey, do not bring the flag or else you'll be kicked off the property. So that's ultimately where, oh, more thunder. I guess that's a sign that we are done for this episode of Inside the Lines. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts on NASCAR moving the all Stars potentially to Bristol this year? What are your thoughts on Road America probably being part of the 2021 schedule? And are there other tracks you want to see NASCAR tackle like Montreal or Road Atlanta, Portland? You know, I'm just listing off a bunch of road courses. You know, any, any track you want to see NASCAR put on their schedule for 2021 and in the future, tell me in the comments section down below. But that is it for me. Until next time, my name is Jeff from MDK. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time.